Hello students, uh, today I will explain you about Apomixis. Before starting with Apomixis, let's see how normal embryo is formed. When male gamete fuses with female gamete, it forms a diploid zygote and this diploid zygote further forms diploid embryo. In Apomixis, formation of embryo takes place asexually means here embryo is formed without formation of gametes that is there is no fertilization alternatively it is unusual sexual reproduction where there is no meiosis no meiosis means no gamete formation no gamete formation means no fertilization now let's see what is apogamy and apospory in apogamy gametophyte organ or cell produces embryo like structure without formation of gametes means without fertilization it is termed as apogamy apospory when diploid sporophyte cells produces a diploid gametophyte without undergoing meiosis is apospory example orange and mango the main categories of apomixis are recurrent apomixis non recurrent apomixis and adventive embryony in recurrent apomixis archiporeal cells or some other part of nucellus the cells are diploid forms embryo sac in diplospory the unreduced embryo sac is derived from diploid megaspore mother cell example terasexum in apospory the nucellus cells give rise to apomictic embryo sac so here the embryo sac formed is diploid non recurrent apomixis in this type megaspore mother cell which is diploid undergoes usual meiotic division and a haploid embryo sac is formed here the embryo arises either from the egg by parthenogenesis or from some other haploid cells of gametophyte through apogamy plants produced by this method are generally sterile and do not reproduce sexually example nicotiana adventive embryony here normal zygotic embryo is formed but along with normal zygotic embryo embryos may develop from somatic nucellus or integument it is common in mango orange lemon it give rise to a condition called polyembryony means development of more than one embryos inside the seed 